You will not bury your loved ones this year. Go straight to your backyard. Let me tell you what to do. But before then, you need to know that this season that we are right now, hmm, the agents of darkness are moving around. Physically, spiritually, they are looking for souls. You that is watching me right now, you that will see this video and share it, you are not going to be a partaker of it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Gather your children wherever they are. You, if you are living single, you can go for it. But the main problem here is, you need to do this on your own. You must be present in person. All right? That is, if your children are not with you, you can tell them to do the same. So that we will not be waiting for a reply from me in the comment section. Can I do it without my children? Yes, you can do it without your children, but tell them to do the same. The ones that are with you, do it with them. If you are single, you can do it on your own, okay? All right. And if you do not have a space, Let's, let me just forget it. I will talk about that later. All right. So when you gather your children up, go and pick up a sand. This is where they, what they used to bury when someone is to the other side. That is what you are about to use now. Use it to round your children's head five times. Proclaim Psalm 118 verse 17 into their life. That is the verse you will be using. Number one, that five times, J-E-S-U-S, that's Jesus Christ for you. The one that died and said it is finished. We have to enjoy his grace, okay? You, as you take it, please be careful. It should not fall down. Hold it tight. It's a sand inside. Hold it tight. Use it around one. As you are rounding it, it is not your head, not your blood. Not your head, not your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Not your head, not your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Round one five times. One five times. If it is daddy that is doing it, daddy must do it for mommy also. One should not fall down from that sand. Because that sand is not a good thing that should fall in your area, your house right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Then, round everybody's head. When you are rounding, make sure you proclaim. Proclaim what is on Psalm 118 verse 17. Because if you know what this season is carrying, and you, if you know that someone has planned for you, you, you reversing it first make you feel relaxed. Nothing will ever come close to you. That is the reason why you want to go and put those things they have planned against you. Every death that has planned against you. Because some people are just living today. They do not even know that. Someone has planned for them not to see December, not January. But as you listen to this voice tonight, and as you do it, as you share this video, as you do what I am teaching you right now, you are not going to be a partaker of those evil plans. In Jesus' name, amen. So, after rounding it through your loved one's head, anyone around you here, walk straight outside to your backyard that I just told you about. You that is having the sun, hold it firm. Nothing should happen to it. If it is your husband, maybe you have not dug a hole. Maybe the area that you are, you do not want people to know what you are doing. It's not your house. Now that you are, you are done with it, maybe your husband go with you. Anybody go with you to the backyard. The person should quickly dig it and you have to open your mouth and pour the sand inside. No one should fall outside. Be careful. No one should fall outside. Pour it inside and cover it. When you finish covering it, you just open your mouth. If you, the both of you can pray the prayer there, as we buried you now, as we buried this son, we have just buried the sickness that was sent to us to take our life. We have just buried the death that was thrown to us from the pit of faith. Let me tell you something. A lot of people do not need your joy, but you have to always do these things. Spiritual controls the physical. Physically, you cannot even fight the fight, but when you handle it spiritually, hello, they will be looking for a way to say, ah, Wait till I walk, talk, you know, work. How come? Wait till I do, you know, work. How come? These are the ways you can handle this. Then you pray as you bury it, it's buried forever. You are going to live to enjoy this, to, to, to see your children's children. You pro, pro, uh, sorry, you proclaim the, the goodness of God into your family. And that thing that you just bury is the bad side of your family. And so shall it be. Before you go inside, your partner, your partner, you that pray the prayer, you that pray this prayer, please take note of all these parts. 
Someone have to go inside and give you soap and water. Wash your hand away outside before you come in. I hope that is taken. Wash your hand outside before you move into your house. If you are alone, before you do this, put some water outside. When you are coming in, you wash your hand, pick up your rubber and come inside. I hope you understand this. And I pray for each and every one of us, especially as many that will share this video. By the special grace of God, as you do this, your love wants your life is preserved and protected. Death will not know you. Every evil plan against your life, you have just re reversed it back to sender and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. See you guys on my next video. Much love. Be your brother's keeper by sharing the video.